we're on the road guys and now we're heading to Denver for now and then from there we're gonna be in there for a day and then we're moving on to the west coast right now we have 13 hours left which is a pretty long drive but we we are on the road now and we're on I'm gonna be in a car for 13 hours so just not don't expect much footage except for maybe like some outside views and that's pretty much it let's go So we're taking a little quick stop since, you know, we're going to get gas. So guys, we've made it to Las Vegas. Here it is. Me and my brother just going into this place, checking it out, and then maybe getting some food, and then heading back um, and seeing our hotel. What's up guys? We are in Las Vegas and now we are in the MGM. We arrived here like yesterday really late so now we're out. And I was here like maybe six, seven years ago but coming to see it again is pretty nice and there's a lot of stuff that have changed. Obviously like this, I kind of remember the line being here but I don't remember all this lighting and look at all that. And my sister hasn't seen it before. This is the first time seeing it. My brother has seen it with me like the first time six seven years ago we're seeing it again and it should be it should be a nice vlog it's gonna be a few days in las vegas and that, i think that's gonna be the part two vlog i remember when i was here i think the, the railway was still getting built but now it's it's here now and it's pretty nice to have a you know a train going back and forth uh, through these hotels I have never been to. This is a pretty new hotel, so I haven't been here before, but other stuff I've been to, but this one I haven't been to. Can someone please explain to me what this thing is? Just has a bunch of numbers and I have no idea what it is. It says some number up there, one, one, no idea what it is. But <laughs> so right now we're in the Bellagio and yeah so far it's been nice. I've tried out a lot of fragrances and I've obviously enjoyed the walk and the strip as well. And so far nothing has impressed me really, but I'm gonna tell you guys if something does impress me. This is the Bellagio. This is not even the lobby, so it's just the, the inside of it, or like the cafe area. But it's Central Station. Ah, it's a big tree. That's a pretty big tree. Yeah, it's bigger than the, the Ch Chicago one. I spotted a Guerlain fragrance, uh, or I spotted a Guerlain uh, shop. Hopefully, it has some fragrances in there.
underneath the Eiffel Tower building. So we're in Par the Paris Hotel right now and we chose La Café Lee St. Louis or St. Louis. Looks, the interior is nice, you know. I don't get copyrighted for this. Oh, the ride. Are we in Las Vegas or are we in New York? No idea. <laughs> Scalper over there. Don't know what hotel that is back there. Mandalay Bay, right there. I'm giving you guys a little bit of a you know a tourist information thing but some nice buildings out here. So now we're heading to the Beatles Love show. Um, my, one of my brothers said that's very good, so we're going there. Ready for the show? Ready for the show. Yeah. Look at the views though, the light. Ooh. Hopefully I don't get copyrighted. Just on time for the Beatles show. That was that was the Beatles show. <laughs> it was, how was it? I was good, but the it's beginning a, was the worst part. But it how about good. how about you? I would say oh, attractive. You know, it was good. A quote says there's a quote up there that says, uh, "In the end, the love you love you take is equal to the love you make." It's a good quote. This might be our first time in the Mirage. Definitely. Yeah. So we didn't come to the Mirage. Come to the Mirage. What's up guys? Now we are heading to the second part of the strip. Um, yesterday was a fun day. Um, it, was, it was Christmas Day as well. And it was pretty packed. So Merry Christmas to everybody who celebrated it. And hope you guys enjoyed your gifts. And now we are heading to, uh, I think, Caesar Palace. So let's head there. the garden chapels for the Caesar's Pass. what my sister thinks because she hasn't been to this and so far it's been between Bellagio and Caesars Palace but 
now we're in the Venetian and I think this is my favorite. Even when I came like six years ago, this was my favorite too. Palazzo Hotel. Look at the inside. The inside's pretty nice. Whoa. And you got the love thing right there. You got these dangling down. Don't know what those are, but nice. the entrance to the plaza. There's your island. Jackson show. Let's go. Look at this line, guys. So we just now watched the Michael Jackson one show and what do you think about it? Oh my god, wow. It's a must-see show. It's, was it better than the Beatles one? Uh, I mean, like, honestly, I, I thought this was a, like a dance show. The Beatles was more of an art theater show. So they were both good, but sorry guys, Michael Jackson wins. Thanks. Well, what do you think about it? What do you think about it? I liked it. It was pretty good, I thought. Was it better than the Beatles? It's a pretty solid uh, performance. Was it better do you think, than the Beatles one? Overall, I think I like that one a little more. The uh, Beatles one, you like it more? Definitely. Oh. 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 more attractive. Oh. Oh. Uh, I think I like the Michael Jackson one a little bit more because it was more exciting, I feel. The Beatles sometimes had a little bit more of those kind of silent moments, so. They were both good overall, and they both had like excellent performers. None of like they were all just on point, and they were both like on point with performing, and they all both had their own kind of uh, art and all that stuff. They've advertised the one Michael Jackson show right in the middle of the lobby. That's pretty special, if you ask me. So now we're just heading back to our hotel, but. I forgot to mention with the niche fragrances, you know, since I tried so many today or so many today and yesterday, um, one thing I have to mention, what I realized with niche, niche fragrances is that they're all sort of artsy and creative and, and very like imaginative, if that's a word. Um, and they're less more for wearing every day, but with like designers, I feel like you can wear them casually every day and it's like they're very mainstream and regular to wear. Well, with niches, I feel like they're kind of special in there, and they're like made for their own purpose. Um, so they're not as nice to wear every day, and they're, they feel more special to someone. And that's why I feel like the difference is. So that's why on this trip, I didn't buy any fragrances, or I might not, I might not buy any fragrances. I almost fell on the escalator. Um, but I haven't bought any niche fragrances so far. But there is some that I, I kept in mind 
in case I want to buy one, but I feel like they're definitely more artsy than than more um, wearing casually every day. This is the Luxor. Uh, don't get copyright. There's music in the play playing in the background. No, no copyright. This is a Luxor. It's a nice design. I guess came early. People are getting ready for New Year's. 